hello everyone happy wednesday god bless you thank you for joining me for prayer therapy i appreciate every single one of you thank you thank you thank you i want to thank all of you who are joining us on the prayer line on tuesdays and thursdays 8 p.m eastern standard time god bless you today um we are praying yes we are praying um for victory we are praying to overcome issues of life um so many things are going on uh, the people we're dealing with and we are praying this month that the Lord has said this is our month of victory that God will give us victory um, so when we get prophecies we don't just um, sit around and, and do nothing no we pray into it we pray into it and that's why a lot of times people will say oh there was a prophetic word that was spoken over my life and it has not manifested sometimes it is because you have refused to partner with that prophetic word in prayer my god you have refused to partner with that prophetic word in prayer and so the enemy sabotages our blessings because we don't understand the principle of prayer we don't understand the principle of partnership with the word of god and so um today i would like to talk to you in the session has begun the bible gives us some principles um on how to be victorious on how to be victorious and um we see this in the book of ephesians uh, one of them um uh, the, the books that really um stresses this and, and gives us these principles is in ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 to 18. um and uh, uh, apostle paul here teaches us saying Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. If you are to be victorious, if you are to triumph, if you are to have the last laugh, over your enemy just like the lord gave us in the prophetic word that i shared on sunday if you haven't seen that yet you need to see that to give this prayer therapy um you know context and so um if you must be victorious if you are to have the last laugh over your enemy you must put on the old armor of god why why must we do this the bible says so that you may be able to stand against the wiles and the or the schemes of of the of the devil it says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places amen and what must we do it says wherefore this is what you must do take unto you meaning to put on the full armor of God so that you may be able to withstand in the evil day when warfare comes when trouble comes and when warfare comes against the prophetic word that has been spoken over your life this is how you must prepare yourself to withstand that you withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand when you're still standing after a warfare when you're still standing after a trouble and when you're still standing after a storm you have victory yes it's because you are victorious amen the bible says stand therefore yeah, and this is how we must stand it says stand therefore not stand idle not stand doing nothing it says stand having your loins your waist girt about or buckled with truth oh yes having your loins your waist girt about and buckled with truth and i've been on the breastplate of righteousness that is the second thing confess and repent of all sins yes you cannot continue in sin and ask for grace to continue the bible says god forbid god forbid and number three it says and your feet have your feet shod or fitted with the readiness or preparation of the gospel of peace my god number four it says above all taking on the shield of faith with which ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked oh yes doubt is going to come mm, fear is going to come the enemy may even attack your faith 
in the when you have heard the word of God and this is how you will have to you have to take on the shield that it is that is faith to guard over your heart hallelujah to guard over your heart which ye to, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked when the devil throws the dirt of uh, 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 of doubt of fear of anxiety of unbelief this is what you will have to take the shield of faith faith will be your shield faith will be your shield in this season if you are to be victorious and the bible says number five it says and take the helmet of salvation when you truly give your life to jesus oh you have you have a covering you have a covering called the helmet of salvation so when you backslide and you begin to wallow in sin you are no longer covered my God, you are no longer covered. This is how the enemy gets a lot of believers. You are no longer covered. The helmet of salvation has been removed. I pray that this will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Number six, the Bible says, take the sword of the spirit, mm -hmm. which is the word of God. This is the word of God. Read the word, meditate on the word, pray the word, prophesy the word. Mm, it says, pray in all ways, meaning on all occasions, with all prayer and supplication, or requests for all saints. The NIV version says, with this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. This is where intercession comes along too. Not only that you're praying for yourself, but that you're interceding for others. It is not just because you feel like you've been called to intercession. You can be, you can tell God, this is what I would like to do for you. But if you're an intercessor, you know that the Lord is staring you and pushing you in the, into prayer. You will know that there's a call of God on your life. There are people who God has called as intercessors and they're so selfish because they're not in tune with the spirit of God. And they, they say, you know, why should I pray for somebody? I have my own problems. But God is saying, while you're interceding for others, oh, I will take care of your business, my God. While you're interceding for the church, while you're interceding for that man or woman of God, instead of condemning them, instead of tearing them apart, instead of blasting them on, on online. And I don't know who the Lord is speaking to right now, but instead of doing all of that, it says intercede. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. My God. And so let's go quickly to Deuteronomy chapter 20 and verse 4. The Bible says, for the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. Why will God fight for you and fight against your enemies? It is to give you victory. It is to give you victory. So the word of the Lord for us this month is that we are in our season of victory. That the enemies we've seen before, we will see no more. Oh, the Egyptians that we saw before, we will see them no more. It is our season of triumph, our season to win, our season to succeed, our season to overthrow the powers of the enemy. Yes, to overthrow them. Yes, 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 to surpass them, to overwhelm them. They might have been oppressing you. You might have been suppressed by the powers of the enemy, but the Lord is saying, this is my season to bring you victory. So when we receive the word of the Lord, we don't just sit idle. We pray into it. My God, we pray into it. We pray until we'll see it manifest. And so this is why I'm here. The, the Bible says, for the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. How do we summon the power of God to grant us victory? We pray into his word. We pray into what he has spoken concerning us. We don't just sit around for years waiting for it to manifest. We pray into it and not just some, you know, lazy kind of prayer and saying, oh, yeah, I prayed for two minutes on my way to work this morning. <laughs> oh, come on, believers. Come on. The devil has a filled day in the life of any believer that is prayerless. Pray always, always without season, the Bible says. You can't pray for two minutes, five minutes a day, and then say, well, I, I, expect, <laughs> I expect my breakthrough. I expect my... The devil is busy. He's going to and fro. 
going everywhere, looking for whom he may devour. He's not sleeping, he's not resting. But here you are sleeping the entire day away, sleeping your entire night away. Pray, pray into the word that the Lord has spoken concerning you. So we're going to pray today and I'm praying for you as the spirit of the Lord is leading me. I hope that this word has blessed somebody, that this prayer therapy session has blessed somebody. I just want to pray over you and I want you to pray along and just thank God. Begin to thank him. Lord, I thank you. I thank you because you are helping me in this season to understand that I have to put on the whole armor of God. If I am to be victorious, I have to read your word. I have to pray without season. I have to pray always. I have to take up the shield of the, 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 the shield of faith. I have to put on the helmet of salvation. I cannot continue in sin and ask that grace abound. These are the things that you're teaching me. Lord, I thank you. Come on somebody pray, pray, thank him. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Oh, you are so awesome. My God, you are so awesome. You are a good, good father. We thank you for your love because you love us is why you have brought us into this prayer therapy session is why you have pre prepared. This is your divine strategy to help us, your children. Lord, I thank you. I thank you over the life of everyone that is under the sound of my voice. I thank you because you are bringing them, calling up, calling them up higher. Oh, calling them up higher that we must grow spiritually. Spiritually, there is no room for laziness in our Christian walk. And there's no room for us to expect something from you without relationship. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you because the storm and the wind that is blowing in this end time will not blow us away. Because we will be grounded. Grounded in your word. Grounded in your power. Grounded in your authority. Grounded in doctrine. Grounded in the principles of your word. My God, grounded in your spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless your holy name. Now we ask for forgiveness. Every sin that may hinder our prayer. The Bible says, if I allow iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Father, we ask for forgiveness that you will consider the death and the resurrection of your son, Jesus. You will consider the crown of thorns that was laid on his head. You will consider, oh, the nails to his hands and to his feet. You will consider the hacks to his side with water and blood gushing out. You will consider, oh God, the stripes that were laid on his body. You will consider the shame and the ridicule, the pain that he had to endure, and you will forgive us. You will consider the blood that was shed for us. Wipe away our sins, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that we may receive from you today unended. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray into your word for victory. I, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will give us victory over every issue of life. Victory over our enemies. Victory over enemies of our destiny. Victory over enemies of our spiritual growth. Victory over enemies of our marriages. Victory over enemies of our marital destiny. To those who are single, that the power of the enemy that is oppressing them, that is causing marital delay. You will give us victory in this month of May and even into throughout 2021. In the name of Jesus, I pray in the name of Jesus, you will give us victory over enemies of our breakthrough, enemies of our blessings, enemies of our promotion, enemies of our ministry, enemy, enemy of our education, enemies of our health, enemies of our peace, of our joy, of our lifting. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare over the lives of your people, the Egyptians, the enemies that they saw yesterday, they will see no more forever. In the name of Jesus, the challenges that you have had, I pray over you, the challenges you have had up until now, oh, up until this moment, I decree victory over them in the name of Jesus. I decree victory over them in the name of Jesus. I contend against every principality by the authority in the name of Jesus, every power, oh, fighting against the purposes of God for the lives of everyone that is under the sound of my voice. I contend against them. I bring them down by the power 
in the name of Jesus, I decree victory over every marital delay, every victory over every issue of delay in marriage, victory, victory, victory over your lives in the name of Jesus. You will have the last laugh. Oh, over your enemies, you will have the last laugh. Over the problems in your lives, you will have the last laugh. Over the enemies of your purpose, oh, you will have the last life. I, the last life, I decree and declare in this month and even beyond, you shall testify in the name of Jesus. You shall testify for you will be victorious and great shall be your testimony. Mm. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for this prayer therapy session. We bless your holy name. We thank you for the work that your word is doing even in every soul that is under the sound of my voice. Even in every life that is under the sound of my voice. Even in every destiny that is under the sound of my voice. Even in every home, oh, under the sound of my voice, which is your voice through me. I am nothing but your mouthpiece. Blessed be your holy name. We give you praise for you have answered. For you are the God who answers by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining me for prayer therapy. Again, if this video has blessed you, make sure you comment, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe for more. I post these every Wednesday. Don't just come and get the blessing and, and dash. No. Come on, join the family. And also make sure that you're sharing this with someone. Make sure you're liking the video to give it momentum. Many people are not aware of the prayer therapy session video. So if you're, as you're sharing and liking the video, YouTube makes them aware of it. And we all need prayers, don't we? Um, this is our weapon. This is our weapon. Yes, this is how we fight our battles. Yes, and God is with us. God bless you. Thank you for joining me once again. Don't forget to join us on the prayer line for so much more, so much more on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The information will be on the screen somewhere here and also in the description box under the title of this video. Um, God bless you. Um, have a wonderful rest of your week.